Hi, my name is Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic and today I'm going to talk about the compatibility between the Aries Taurus cusp and a Leo. This is one of the most ambitious pairs in the zodiac. Both of you set the bar high and you go for it. As a married couple, you can overcome so many obstacles. So many that just come your way. You're able to survive some tough times. This relationship will become such a big deal to the both of you and it may make you feel uneasy. Love may be important to you, but you don't want it to become the main attraction of your life. But this relationship will put a lot of pressure on you both and you won't like that. When you go into this relationship, you're going to have a lot of expectations. You need them to be a certain way and you have your own standards. They may not help you save the day, but they'll definitely be your sidekick at times. There's no reason for you to expect them not to give you a helping hand when you need it. You are entitled to being with someone who is just as in it with you as you are. So don't ever doubt yourself about that. If what you're trying to do with them seems impossible or feels like it's not going anywhere, then just stop doing it and focus your love and energy on what actually works. It's common to get in a rut when you're actually doing something together and you get stuck somewhere along the way and you keep trying to get through it when really it may just not be for you and you might need to stop focusing on what's not working and start focusing on what is possible and what you can do. Remember that sometimes it's okay to just like let go and enjoy the ride. If you feel like you're going against the current, I advise you to just stop wasting your energy and surrender. A relationship with a Leo would feel like a giant tidal wave of passion. They know passion and they know how to make it a big deal. Expect things to feel even more extravagant when you are with them. Both of you are go-getters, especially Leo. Your Leo will probably be even more driven than you. Hard to believe, I know. It's not that you both are good at making the most of situations that you are in. It's that you both are very adaptable to whatever scenario you are in. And you're able to make them even better when you're together. You both will feel the weight of this relationship. The more you try to make it seem less important than it is or distance yourself, the bigger it will get. And you're not alone in this. Leo will definitely have your back and definitely be a part of all your activities. You may not be a huge perfectionist. It's important to never stop looking to improve on your life, especially when you're dating a Leo. Try to master those things that you're simply good at while you're dating a Leo. When you are having difficulties with a Leo, it can be really helpful to try to manage things in a more professional way. Like in that moment, view them as a new business partner, not a new lover. Instead of trying to get all emotional and stuff, try to negotiate or treat the situation in a more like delicate way. Picture yourself both as world leaders who are just trying to solve a problem. That's how you should address it. How can we find peace among our nations? You know, that kind of thing. Instead of like, oh, how could you? I can't even listen to you right now. Selective hearing, you know, that kind of thing. A Leo will definitely change your life. Won't be the same person that you were before dating your Leo. You are so much more chill. You have a need to go with the flow at times, no matter how driven you are. And so you have to make sure that you're taking care of that side of yourself while you are dating a Leo. Don't expect a lot of opportunities for downtime when you're with a Leo. This is usually a very successful couple in the long run when you are both trying to make it in the same area of expertise, then you really don't have anything to worry about because when you both put your mind to something together, you can make it happen. Expect a lot of hardcore conversations. Your dynamic is very intense. Do I have my teeth? 
Fuck. Yeah, whatever. There are many things you're going to want from a Leo. Just make sure that what you want from them is actually rational because your desires might actually be very impractical. While you're with your Leo, don't stop trying to make your dreams happen. Don't give up on them and keep shooting for the moon. Sacrifices might be necessary and very welcome for you both to get along fully. And it will definitely make things easier when you can come to some kind of agreement. There are a lot of ideas that we have about fire signs and how we think about them, but your Leo might be very calm and collected despite what you think, or they can come across as very grumpy and irritable. Either way, expect your life to become interesting. You'll have a hard time being friends with a Leo because Leos might ask a lot of you and it might irritate you too much. Cheating is hardly ever an issue between the two of you. You both are pretty faithful towards each other throughout your whole marriage. And that's not something that you ever have to worry about. You both are very devoted to one another and devoted towards your dreams. And you're very good at not putting yourself in situations where you could lose or you could get hurt. When it comes to arguments, you may have met your equal in many ways because you're both not afraid to say what you want to say and you often have the best comebacks towards each other and you're not afraid to say what's on your mind. You're very good at standing up for yourselves. Try to make sure that you are being very open about everything. You don't have any reason to hide or to keep secrets. So be careful of acting secretive about something. The best way to make sure that your relationship functions well is by making sure that you're on the same team and that you're not working against each other. You like challenges, but sometimes it's okay to just take the easy route. You're going to find yourself wanting to explode. You're very careful to keep your emotions together and to keep your composure but after a while it becomes more and more difficult and eventually you have to let your inner volcano erupt relationships are all about balance especially when it comes to love and you both are selfish sometimes you don't like to give all the time and it's going to be hard to maintain that balance when you're together because you both are going to be takers not givers and it's only going to make it harder for you to be friendly towards one another. Neither one of you likes to give up and that's not usually a bad thing. What happens is usually when things aren't working out, neither one of you wants to admit defeat. Neither one of you wants to admit that things need to end and that love lost. And so this relationship can go on and on for a very long time, even when things are going terribly. You often hear people who get out of this relationship saying things like, well, the truth is we stopped really loving each other five years ago, but we stayed together like, and tried to make it work. We just didn't want to give up. The more intimate your relationship is and the more focused it is on being in the home, the more dramatic and intense it will be. So you need to keep it busy. Make sure that you're adapting to it. Not just spending time with each other in one room after work. Make sure that you are doing other things in your relationship, like actually meeting friends or going on adventures or trying new things. The more limited your relationship, this bigger than life relationship feels, the more complicated it will be. Living your life as the relationship. So this is something you need to think about if you want it to work out, if you want it to be less dramatic. Speak your truth. Always be blunt with your Leo. Never beat around the bush. And don't wait to tell them what your thoughts are. If you find yourself working against each other or on different sides, make sure that you find a way to work together and be on the same side. You guys competing against each other is only going to drive a wedge in between the two of you and cause like a struggle. A major issue that causes a divide between this couple is that one of you can be territorial or possessive and that can definitely cause problems when you're married. Expect the need to blow off steam on a regular basis. It is very common in relationships to start out with sex. Maybe you have a very intense and passionate connection in the bedroom, but much of the time that's as far as it goes. 
Just because you're having a sexual relationship doesn't mean that it's going to become some profound romantic love affair. It's very rare for one night stands or random casual sexual encounters to turn into more but if it does, that's usually how you meet. You both have very, very strong personalities. It won't be easy for you to win your Leo's heart. It may take more time than you're used to. You have to really have earned their appreciation and their loyalty. And just because it seems like a Leo is very passionate does not mean that you have won their heart. So the first thing that you need to do if you want to attract a Leo is to understand that it will take patience and that you need to earn their respect and trust. You need to appeal to their desires. When you get married, everyone will see it as one of your biggest accomplishments and as a sign of success. But you know deep down that's not why you got married and it definitely doesn't help you get anywhere spiritually or grow your feelings. And what people see on the outside might not reflect how you really feel about each other on the inside. As a couple, you constantly need to be trying new things and going on your own journeys. You would make fantastic travel companions. Emotions in a marriage between the two of you would be very conflicting and messy. And it's something that might tear the both of you apart. Leo would be a very feisty partner they would definitely spice up your love life. Jealousy is almost always a challenge with you and a Leo at some point in a relationship. You both have a tendency to do the right thing, whatever that is. You have a strong moral code and you care deeply about being true to yourselves and doing well. You can achieve so much together. Lustful Leos can have many lovers, but they can dump them and move on, especially when they are dating, but it's harder for them to just dump you and move on and just go on with their lives. You go for what you want and who you want, and they can't just block you without you having something to say about it. You don't let anyone walk all over you, and Leo is no exception. So Leo won't just be able to brush you off if they don't like you because you won't let them do that. You don't just stop. You're not just going to back down and forget. As parents, you would have a lot of pride in your children. They are your greatest accomplishments and it is not uncommon for you both to show them off almost like they're trophies at times just because you're so proud of them, you know, and your kids might not feel like they are being valued for who they are, they're just being praised for being your biggest successes. It's okay to be proud parents, come on. But make sure that you're keeping an eye out on how that could be affecting your children and that you're actually valuing them in an authentic, caring way. It can also put a lot of pressure on them to be the perfect child. Of course, it depends on their sign, it depends on you know, like what their chart. But yeah, this is just really common if you both are parents together. That's kind of like the vibe you take on. It's very common for you both to go on trips together and vacation together. Sex can be an issue in this relationship too. And it's something that can break married couples apart. You never really know what's going to happen next. And they definitely keep you guessing. A Leo would be very unpredictable for you. When one of you is angry with the other, there is no hiding it. Be careful not to use your anger as a method of control. When you're dating, you have to be careful not to let your pride get in the way. Flings and casual romances are usually unstable, but tying the knot really does help with security. If you are fighting with your Leo, expect them to be just as aggressive as you are. If you throw an insult their way, expect an insult of equal aggression back at you. You have met your equal when it comes to power and you're the cusp of power. So come on now, but you can also use this type of power for good. If they are kind to you, then you can be just as kind back to them. Take all that energy that you've turned into aggression and turn it into compassion. When you get married, don't expect sex to remain a priority. That doesn't mean that sex is no longer important or that it won't be there anymore. No, 
It just means it won't be more important than money or, you know, your career or family. Like it might take, it might all be at the same level, you know? They all take the same amount of priority in your marriage. It won't really be about sex anymore. This is often a sports oriented relationship and you are both very athletic and you like to play sports or you both root for the same team, something like that, you know? Many times dates can be like baseball games or football games or something like that. Or watching live sports or doing something active or playing catch. It's very difficult for something external, like outside your relationship to break you up. If there is a reason for your divorce, it's because of something that you both did, something that you both have going on, not because of another person or a life situation. It's usually something within the both of you, usually because of a way you both are acting, not because of something life throws at you that causes a mess. Go dancing with your Leo for a date. That would be fun. It would probably be very fun for the both of you. It would allow you to let loose. You like to keep each other guessing. When you don't feel like you're in control sometimes, you both might get competitive. Make sure that you see that behavior for what it is so you can do something about it. Most of all, you shouldn't feel the need to control anyone. Marriage is worth it with this pair for multiple reasons. The first one is that you both really care about your family. It's not just about the two of you when you have kids and you're both very good at thinking in a way that family comes first attitude, you know? Another reason marriage works is because there's enough substance. This isn't a boring relationship. There's a lot to work with, you know? Another reason marriage is so successful is because of how strong you both are. And you're each able to get through so much on your own. When you're together, even more so. You both have caretaking traits. And no matter how many punches you might throw at each other metaphorically, you care seriously for each other's well-being. As a married couple, what works best is when you are more focused on the household, taking care of the home situation, the nest, you know? And your Leo takes care of the external stuff and on improving things. Sometimes fights can become physically violent. And that is something that is very dangerous so keep an eye out for any type of behavior like that. You are very accommodating friends to Leo. They like one-on-one -on -one friendships and they might have more of a private social circle. Whereas you might be more of the party animal. And if your Leo asks you to stop going to all these parties all the time, you usually are like, okay, I'll do that for you. You usually listen to them. You value their friendship so much. You might find yourself in some crazy situations with a Leo. It would never be dull. You might find yourself taking more risks when you're with them. You would make really good parents together. Your kids would always feel safe and sound and loved. And as long as you're not competing with each other over something, then you can be devoted friends. As parents, your kids are usually very well cared for. You do a very good job. Just be ready for when they hit those teen years because they will probably have very emotional personalities. And if they feel like they are being unheard or that you don't care about them as much, they will make sure that you know what they're feeling. Trust me. And of course that also depends on the kids' signs. Yeah, you know, we're all people. But that's your parenting vibe. Just know that your children would have a lot of fire charge from all that fire in your relationship. You know, that relationship that created them. Thank you so much for watching. If you were born as a Leo or if you are in Aries Taurus cusp, then please comment below and let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. Oh, this has been fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I'm so glad we're on to the Leos. Yes, so Leos and then I'll be doing Leo Virgos. You know, you may have noticed I do things in a certain pattern. So just hang on tight if you're waiting for a certain video, it will be here. But if you start commenting and asking me about like where that video is, you can definitely look in the playlist sections. I usually have a playlist for each sign and cusp. 
So definitely check out like where, like if that video is already there. Um, but yeah, I go in an order and yeah, if you like message me about it, I, you know, I, I can only say it so many times. So, and I can't just like pick and choose which one I want to do first. Like, I love you all, you know, but I'm trying to be fair. Um, and it's also like, I am also being fair to me. Like, I really want to talk about my boyfriend's cusp because, I mean, I'm the cusp and he's a Virgo. I'd love to get to Virgos, right? If I could, I'd just like jump to Virgos. But just to be fair to everyone, I am trying to go in order. So I just got done with Cancer Leos and then I will go with do Leos and then Leo Virgos and then Virgo and then Virgo Libra. Yeah. <laughs> so you get it. Okay. Um, yeah. Bye.